สวัสดีค่ะร้านค้าปีกเฟอร์นิเจอร์ระดับยักษ์ใหญ่ของโลกนะคะสัญชาติสวีเดนอย่างอีเกียกำลังจะมาเปิดร้านในเมืองไทยปลายปีนี้นะคะเป็นสาขาแรกเลยค่ะแล้วก็จะเป็นสาขาที่ใหญ่ที่สุดในเอเชียตะวันออกเฉียงใต้ด้วยพื้นที่ในการจําหน่ายสินค้านะคะ 43,000 ตารางเมตรด้วยกันอยู่ในโครงการเมกะบางนาค่ะถนนบางนาตราดกิโลเมตร9ร้านแรกเมื่อ53ปีก่อนนะคะเปิดโดยนายอิงวาคัมพราดที่สวีเดนค่ะแต่ว่ามาจนถึงวันนี้อีเกียมีสาขากว่า300สาขาใน38ประเทศทั่วโลกจุดขายหลักๆเลยของอีเกียก็คือจำหน่ายเฟอร์นิเจอร์และสินค้าตกแต่งบ้านราคาย่อมยาวแต่ว่าการออกแบบดีไซน์นั้นสวยงามเรียบง่ายตามสไตล์สแกนดิเนเวียนะคะอีเกียนับว่าเป็นแบรนด์ที่แข็งแกร่งแล้วก็ได้การยอมรับในระดับโลกด้วยเพราะฉะนั้นน่าสนใจค่ะการคิดเรื่องของการทำแบรนด์ของเขาหรือว่าจะเป็นเรื่องของการบริหารจัดการนะคะร้านอีเกียทั่วโลกดิฉันมีโอกาสพูดคุยกับคุณทอมฮูเซลกรรมการผู้จัดการบริษัทอีคาโนจำกัดซึ่งเป็นผู้ถือลิขสิทธิ์แฟรนไชส์ในประเทศไทยมาเลเซียและสิงคโปร์ค่ะทอม why open an IKEA store in Thailand Why not open in Thailand? IKEA is present in so many markets and should also be, of course, a part of uh, the Thai community. What potential do you see in the Thai market? Yeah, the same potential as we see everywhere else. Uh, people are in need of good furniture to, of good quality to low prices, and that is something that is common all over the world. And we have worked with IKEA in many, many countries, and it's successful basically everywhere we have been uh, active. And uh, we ourselves, Icono, are operating the IKEA concept in Singapore and Malaysia, with huge success. And of course, we are quite sure that also the Thai customer will receive IKEA very positively. Is it pronounced IKEA or IKEA? Uh, in Sweden, it's pronounced IKEA, but since most part of the world, when they speak English, use I instead of E, so it's very common, especially in US and UK, they use IKEA. But here in uh, Asia. It's very often IKEA. So in Singapore, it's mainly IKEA. In Malaysia, IKEA. I think in Japan, I would also assume that it's IKEA. And basically, that is the right way. But both are equally right. Well, I'm lucky that I got it right. I yeah, always yeah. say IKEA. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I always say yeah. IKEA. Now, the IKEA store in Thailand would be the biggest in Southeast Asia. Is yes, that right? Yes. Yeah, that is what we believe. Yes. And now I think that every year somehow the stores are getting bigger. And now we are in, in line to open. So we are opening a big store. Uh, most probably, that will not last too long. There will be another store opening somehow sooner. I would assume uh, that will be even bigger. But this is really a big IKEA store. Mm -hmm. What do you think um, will make people come to IKEA store? Basically, it is the range and the low prices uh, that is the main attraction power to IKEA. And the range is uh, well designed home furnishing products. Uh, of good quality to low prices, and since everyone has a home uh, to live in, uh, of course our product somehow has its place everywhere. So the customer potential is basically the whole population, since everyone more or less have a home. Who are your main targets? We are for the many people. Our vision is to create a better everyday life for the many people. And we do that by offering a wide range of home furnishing product, home furnishing product of good quality and design, and that is important. Good quality, not poor quality. Good quality and good design, to low prices. And that is a combination that is quite unique. You can find designer shops that offers good quality and good design to high prices, and you can find shops that offer bad quality to low prices. But to combine design, quality, quality function, and low prices is something that is. Uh, unique for IKEA, and that's where we are really differentiating ourselves from uh, from others, and that will be the main uh, attraction. But I think everyone is heading in that direction, though. Good design, um, approximate or reasonable prices. Yeah, but I think that you have different uh, business models, and the business model IKEA has chosen is to have full control of each and every step in the value chain. If you're a reseller of any furniture brand, let's say an Italian furniture producer mm -hmm. selling it Italian sofas, uh, a reseller here can only affect the retail price and the cost of selling it uh, uh, from the retail perspective. Whereas IKEA is involved in uh, designing the product, making the drawings, uh, design deciding which raw material it should be used in, 
deciding in which country it should be produced, depending on which country has the right capabilities. Uh, it's always knockdownable, so it is going to be transported in flat package with less volume. Uh, choosing a less uh, heavy design, so it's not so raw material uh, intensive, so it's more sustainable. So if you have the chance to affect uh, the, the cost in each level of the value chain, at the end of the day you will have a substantial saving, and that saving we are passing away to our customers. Do you think Thais have any special preferences that are idiosyncratic to this market in particular? I think that the Thai customers are very demanding. I think that when we have done our, our, our studies here on the market and look at uh, any kind of uh, retailing, we can see that the level of retailing is on a very uh, developed level. Uh, Thais are very fashion oriented, uh, fashion knowledgeable, have good uh, taste for style. So you could see that uh, if we compare Bangkok with other major cities, we think that actually Thailand is in a more advanced level. That of course puts uh, demands on us also to be able to present a range in a nice uh, and, and competitive way. But actually that is our strength. We are working very much with room settings, complete room settings, because we are offering everything that you need from uh, in a home. And we can combine that in a very nice way uh, to show and give, inspire and give ideas to our uh, visitors and customers. So we think that we will convey a message on how to yeah, improve your living at home. Uh, and we think that will be appealing. IKEA now has over 300 branches in yes, yeah. almost 40 countries. Yes, yes, yes. Now, has Swedish design become more or less a universal design? No, I would not say so. I mean, there is a kind of typical Swedish design, which is based on more simple lines, more straightforward uh, appearance rather than uh, a lot of curves and a lot of uh, unnecessary details. Uh, Swedish design is quite functional uh, and it's more modern. Uh, and that is... Uh, Minimalist ne- design. Yeah, not as much as in maybe Japan, uh, J- Japanese design, which is, I would say, more minimalist, but mm-hmm. there's a certain element to that too. Mm-hmm. But in IKEA, you also have uh, more traditional design. I think it's only that the modern part stands out more and that's what IKEA is most known for. The most iconic products that comes from IKEA are more in the Scandinavian modern design. But there is also a more traditional, more country style uh, present in our range. And it seems to work on all markets. Uh, So we are pretty confident that it will also work here in Thailand. Can you explain what is the business model of IKEA worldwide?